of those words from the Hebrew Bible. Tamu uru ki tov Adonai, ashrei agevri achasebo. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Very excited about our new Hebrew Heritage Bible translation on the Newer Testament. Our goal is to hear as they heard. Well, hey, hope everyone is doing good today. Well, yet another Bible translation. Look at that. Well, I found this in Israel 365 News once again the other day. And, of course, right at the top, New Christian Bible Translation underscores Jewish roots of Christianity. And, of course, the first Bible verse you will see is, I will bless those who bless you. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So, let's look into this. And in the article, right away, they start talking about Trisha Miller. It is no secret that Christian scriptures have been misused over the centuries to incite anti-Semitism. So she is a senior research analysis at Camera and has written in many news articles and sites. She goes on to say too often biblical passages have been taken out of context. Influential translations and commentaries sometimes omit the Jewish dimensions of the ancient text, leaving out the Jewish faith and practices that provided the context for the growth of Christianity in the first century Judea and Samaria. But in a new translation called the Hebrew Heritage Bible Newer Testament, seeks to rectify the problem by highlighting the Jewish roots of Christianity. In contrast to other translations, Miller says, this important new version emphasizes the growth of Christianity within the time and place where the faith was born. So there is the New Testament. So we needed the Newer Testament, did we? Yes. I don't think we needed any newer testament honestly all these new ones are only translated by one person but we'll get into that later on young's writing seeks to illuminate the new testament with the help of rabbinic sources that's what it said in wiki um but of course i went into many other sites mind you the text was scanned from a reprint of the 1898 edition and published by baker book house grand rapids michigan so who is Bradford Humes Young? This is him right here, um, also known as Brad Young. So he got his bachelor's degree at Oral Roberts University. Hmm. Well, you should watch my Oral Roberts University video to understand why I find that to be of significance. Right, and is a professor of biblical literature in Judea Christian Studies at Graduate Department of ORU. From Hebrew University, he also has been in the Holy Land Studies. He's a founder and president of the Gospel Research Foundation, and he has also worked with Dr. Robert Lindsay. But notice here at the bottom, he contributed to scholarly journals and has spoken at many academic church interfaith and civic gatherings. Interfaith, that's what you have to keep note of. So he taught at the Oral Roberts University. The Bible's translation is Dr. Brad Young, a Hebrew University trained scholar who taught biblical literature for over 30 years at Oral Roberts University. Mm hmm. Very interesting. And just look at all the symbolism there at ORU. But as I said, I did a video on that, so I'm not going to go more into that. When I looked at their translation of the Lord's Prayer is one thing I like to look at. And of course, here, I'll just read it really quickly. Our Father who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy reign come, thy will come to pass, and in heaven also on earth. Our appointed bread be given us to daily, and forgive us our sins, for also we ourselves forgive every one indebted to us. And mayest thou not bring us into temptation, but do thou deliver us from the evil. The end. Interesting. I have learned the word, uh, the Lord's Prayer, 
this way, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. It seems that a lot of translations have even left out that little part at the end, and I don't understand why. So, very interesting. And of course, Passion has their own version, as well as the message, and I've gone over that in other um, videos as well, and just really short, because I'm not going to read them all, as above, so below is right there. So, very interesting. I would not read either of those. But let's look into Robert Lindsay and who he was. Jerusalem School Hypothesis is one of the many possible solutions for the synoptic problem developed by Robert Lindsay that the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of Matthew both relied on the older text now lost. So he's a researcher and he also started this schooling there in Jerusalem. Yeah bringing history linguistics linguistics oh, my daughter's interested in that so this is what i found on him and i'll try to remember to add all the links the main point here jesus clearly heads a movement is how he words it the kingdom of heaven it's a fully divine figure whose action and words are fully messianic so he's calling this a movement. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to say, because he's saying the first translation was in Hebrew. Yes, the Old Testament. I will agree, but not the New, and we all understand that. So he is trying to say that that is not the case, and has been trying to explain that, and has been working in Israel. Interesting that they mark the Q though there. Um, hold on, let's go back. Robert Lindsay suggests that the first gospel account are in Hebrew, and these were translated into Greek as the proto narrative and the collection of saying Q. Q. We all hear Q today, and that's why I thought I'd. <laughs> point that out. Just funny how that just comes about all the time. But no, no, and I don't think so. The new translation was not in Hebrew. Was he paid off? I mean, you cannot have a company and an organization in Israel without being fully harassed, or then, if you do have it still there, you have been paid off by them because you have said or stated that you will not go and spread the gospel to the Jews. So that's all I'm saying is incorrect is his view. But I'm not a scholar. I haven't been studying this for years and years, but that is my perspective. And the Gospel Research Foundation, of course, is a 501c3. Having broad appeal, Dr. Young's seminars attract both Catholics and main, mainline Protestants, evangelicals, and charismatics. Oh, yes. The Gospel Research Foundation promotes interfaith understanding between Christians and Jews through mutual respect and appreciation. Well, all I can say is the Jewish people do not respect the Christians. Uh, church speaking engagements, he has plenty of them. I'm not going to go into that. These are the organizations that this site is linked with and all that that you can see right here. So, of course, interlinked with the Jewish people, and all I can say is interlinked with the Catholics. When you say interfaith, that means to me interfaith. That means coexist. That means exactly everything that we've been seeing the Pope do for a long time. But what was Camera, where this young lady worked? Young lady, I call everyone young lady, don't mind me, <laughs> she's much older than me, but anyway. Um, the new Bible translation will be the subject of a free sub, uh, webinar presented, and they have it online, I'm sure. But we all know that the Pharisees do not work with others. No. They lie, cheat, and steal. The Jews are taught in their holy book to lie, deceive, cheat, and steal, 
to ruin the Gentiles. That's right, that's what they say. Every Jew may lie, use lies, and perjury to ruin a Gentile. Jews must always try to betray non-Jews. God has given the Jews power over the possession of all non-Jews and their blood. Look, I'm not against all Jewish people. I'm just against all those that study the Talmud and who are right now basically in control of all of Israel. So there is a section, a remnant of true Jews out there. Enough said, I'm not going to go into that. You can watch my other videos on who are the chosen ones. And by the way, just look at all the symbolism of even this, this Bible here. There's a spiral. I mean, it also looks like 101. Uh, there's eight lines on in between each of those. And there's five sections of them. Um, HHB, there's the numbers or the numerology for it I you know I don't understand what it all means but I put it there just in case for all those that are interested the Bible was written in what language the New Testament was written in Greek yes the Old Testament was translated and they call it the Septuagint um, I'm not very knowledgeable about all of this but there is the information and I will give you the site to find out more but all I'm gonna say is do not read these three Bibles and there are others but these are the three prominent ones that I'm aware of that are only translated by one individual and the Israel Bible has Talmudic quotes in it so and it's missing the whole New Testament so I don't even know why it's considered the Bible and I'll add this one now to the list as well, not to be trusted. But that's my opinion and perspective. You can share yours down below or let us know your thoughts. And all I'm going to say is, as I've tried to say in most of my videos, if I ever share something, an article, a video, I'm not saying I fully trust that person. I'm sharing that little thing or, or saying that his last video was very interesting. But use, use caution always. Don't ever put your guard down. And I also might have said or stated something wrong. It happens. I'm not perfect. And I make my videos in one take. There's no editing. There's nothing there involved. So I do not fully trust anyone today. And I'm sure many of you are feeling the same way too. But we all have to look and research for ourselves to understand is it the truth? And Yes, everyone does make some mistakes all the time, just as you heard me stumble right there. But if they're doing it constantly, then something is drastically wrong. That's all I'm saying, and that's it for today. I hope you appreciated hearing about that newer translation of the Bible. More to come. I'll be adding one more video today. Um, so let's take a look, and God bless. Take care. See you soon.